a combination of arrogance, indolence and ignorance. This is his criticism of the Treasury in writing off that £4.3 billion. How would you describe it? Well, afternoon. Well, it's pretty uh, consistent with what he said. He said that at first, the Treasury had no interest or knowledge in the consequences of fraud on society or the economy. And he referred to schoolboy errors. So there were vast sums of money needing to go out urgently, but there was time to do some further checks and those basic checks weren't done. Uh, Aaron, is this money irrecoverable? Is it one of those situations where if you didn't have the checks in place when these schemes were started, actually the best thing you can do is say, we missed the, we missed the opportunity? No, I don't think all of it's irrecoverable. Um, a large amount is organised crime gang, opportunist, uh, quick-thinking criminals have got this money, taken it out of the system and moved it away. But there is other money still probably amongst people that should be recovered and effort should be made. HMRC have uh, been bolstered with £100 million of extra money, so they are taking steps and they're doing as well as they can. But this is all after the event. It should have been in place a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the problem with that analysis, and we, we've seen this with other things, haven't we? People looking at things like PPE and saying, with hindsight, how could you do this? But actually, we know how they could do it because we lived through it, didn't we? We lived through those febrile weeks of panic when we didn't know when this was going to end. Uh, and we did fear mass unemployment. Something had to be done. Yeah, absolutely. Something definitely had to be done. We had a situation here where we knew what was coming. And the Fraud Advisory Panel organisation I represent, they sent a letter to the Treasury in June of uh, 2020 saying, look, publish the data. Tell us which companies have taken these bounce back loans, which are now being written off. So we said publish the data. And the response from the Treasury was, these are private commercial arrangements with lenders and borrowers, so we won't do it. But we are sharing data. But clearly, what is evident now from Lord Agnew's comments is schoolboy errors are made. They weren't looking at the data and they could have learned. They could have learned and they haven't. And we, as taxpayers, are losing a lot of money as a result. 